All right, so if you're like me, which I assume you are because, you know, the thumbnail and the title of the video caught your attention enough for you to actually click and continue listening to me blabber on about the video, um, you probably have wondered, okay, what the hell is a module script, right? I've been developing for the past, I would say, two years, okay? And literally, I only started using these like a month ago. And even then, I don't really use them that much, right? Um, so you, you probably know what a script is. Yeah, it's a server script. You know, you know what a local script is. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a script for, you know, clients, for players. What is this though? <laughs> what does this do? So this is, this is what Roblox defines as a, a script fragment, which only runs when another script uses require on it. So if I click on the module script, if I add one right now, as you can see, it says local module is a table and it returns a module. So think of a module script as a table, because that's all, that's all it is. A module script is literally just a table, which will contain functions and variables, right? Now, you know, you can add functions and variables to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place a script inside the server script service, like so, and I'll just place the module script inside of, of the script, right? Why not? You don't, you, like, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it just to keep stuff organized, right? So like I said, a module script is effectively just a table. And I can put anything I want inside this table. One, two, three, hello, nil, right? So a table is just something that can hold multiple values. And the way you can get like this table of a module script inside other script is you say, so you make a variable for the table. You say local, I don't know, module table, something like that. And then you say require, and then you get the module script. So in our case, it's, is just going to be script dot module script, right? But then if your script was inside replicated storage, you would say game dot replicated storage dot module script, right? So now this module table, if I print it out, if I print out module table and I play the game right now, as you can see, we're printing out the module table, which is going to be one, two, three, hello. And then it's not going to have a third value because remember the third value was nil or nothing. What's the point? Why make a whole other script when I can just have this right when i can just put take this table clone it over whatever because they're not meant to be used like this what a module script is is what okay what, what module scripts are used for is adding functions and variables inside of this table if i right now say module dot new function is equal to function this will now create a function. Yeah, like so, so module dot new function equals function one, two, three. So now this module table is going to have a function inside of it called the new function, which is going to do this, right? And so if I run the game, you know, and it's going to print out the module table, it prints out new function, which is a function, right? And inside the script, if instead of printing the table, I say something like module table dot new function, it's going to go to the module table, right? So it, so it has the table and the table right now has a function in it called a new function. And then once we require the module script, once we have that table in, in like, you know, another script from there, we can access all of, you know, whatever inside the module table, be it functions, variables, so on. So if I run this right now, if I run this new function, it's going to print out one, two, three, there we go. Um, and so it's worth noting that it, it does it on the module script as well. So it doesn't do it from this, like the server, it does it from the module script. However, you, you need to call it from the server because module scripts, they're not going to run by themselves, right? right? Like you need, a, you need a server script or a local script to require a module script and then like run anything there, right? Um, so you can have functions or you can have uh, module dot new var, which is just going to, could just be a variable, right? Hello, hello, like so. So if I right now were to say, okay, okay, print module table dot new var. So if I were to play the game, as you can see, it runs the function. And then here it prints hello on the, on the, on the script this time, not the module script, right? So that's, that's kind of the idea behind module script, right? It's literally just a table, right? Where you can put in functions and you can put in variables. Now, here's what's worth kind of explaining, because for me, I, I, I was I was still struggling to get module scripts. I was like, oh, like this is kind of confusing. Like, why do I do module dot? What's the point of like, wh why do I have to do this, right? In Roblox, when you create a table, so I'm actually gonna do this, right? I'm gonna just gonna delete this, right? I'm gonna delete the module script, in fact. There we go, it's gone. 
I'm going to make a new table. Just call it new table and make it equal to this, right? In order to add stuff to tables, what people do is they, they, they say the table name, then they do dot, and then they put in the name of something they either want to add or change, right? So if I say new table dot um, new var, Right. So right now the table is empty, but I see new table dot new var is equal to one, two, three. And then I print out the new table. So right now it's empty, right? And then, but then by, by doing this, I'm going to add in, um, a new var item, which is equal to one, two, three. So then if I print that, then as you can see, yeah, it says new var is equal to one, two, three, right? Um, or what I could also do is I could just say something like, you know, new var equal to one, two, three. So that's effectively the same thing. So you could either write the table like this, uh, but then like, I, I do not recommend it because obviously the easier way is just to say, um, yeah, now it's recommending it to me because it knows that there's a new var value in the table. And now I could set it to be something different. I could say it, it set it to be three, two, one. And now this will not, this won't create a new new var value. It'll just override the one we have already. So we're still going to have one new new var value, but instead of one, two, three, it's going to be equal to three, two, one. What the module scripts are used for module scripts, when you require them, they just give you like the table, right? So what I could do here is I could literally just like have a table and I can add my own function functions to it, right? I could say, okay, new table dot new function is equal to function. And then I can have it print hello. That is going to work. Well, it's not going to run the function because we haven't actually ran it yet. But yeah, as you can see, I, I technically don't need module scripts. I could do everything still from here. So I have a table, I give it a function, and then here I could run the function. I could say new table dot new function, just like so. And then this is going to run the function and print hello. That's, that's pretty cool. Now, why people use module scripts is basically just for organization, right? Because again, the module script is the same thing, you know, it, make, it makes a table and then it returns that table when a script requires a module script. The reason you would use a module script is because you, you, you sometimes want a table that has like a lot of functions, you know, or and like a lot of variables inside of it. So what you could either do anytime a script needs all of those like functions you're going to have inside of this table. Sure, like you could do this where you just, you know, make a new table for every script and you add all of the functions all over again, you know, for every single script that needs them. Or you could just have all of them in one spot, in one module script. And then whenever you need it, instead of having to do all of this, you just say, just, just you know, local module table is equal to require script.module script. There we go. So now this module table is going to be equal to, you know, this table, which obviously right now is empty. But the beauty of the module script is that any single script, as long as it has access to it, is allowed to require and use all of the functions and variables that are inside of the module script, right? So that that's effectively all there is, right? So if you have any questions, leave a comment. If I got something wrong, leave a comment. If neither of those things happen, still leave a comment. Um, check out my in the comments. I, I'm going to have a link to an amazing newsletter that you can sign up to where I'm going to give you helpful advice and every now and then I'm going to sell you my product, <laughs> my $7,000 course, of course. So, you know, make sure to sign up, you know, and look out for that. And yeah, I've deleted everything and we're back to basics. Thank you for watching.